Good morning everybody and welcome to this morning's Oblate Community Morning Prayer. My name is Pauline and um, this morning prayer is coming from Anglesey. So as we continue to accompany one another in a spirit of faith and hope, we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us just take a moment to become still, to become aware of the Lord's presence within and around me in this moment. The eternal spirit of love that upholds all of creation. So let's just take that moment to become more aware of God's loving presence Let us pray. Our lives are yours, O Lord. May we live today in an awareness of the light of your gracious presence. Lord, you know everything. You know that we love you. We gather together all those we love and we hold them in our prayer this morning. Our scripture reading today is taken from the prophet Micah, chapter 6. With what gift shall I come into the Lord's presence and bow down before God on high? Shall I come with holocausts, with calves one year old? Will he be pleased with rams by the thousand, with libations of oil in torrents? Must I give my firstborn for what I have done wrong, the fruit of my body for my own sin? What is good has been explained to you. This is what the Lord asks of you, only this, to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with your God. This is what the Lord asks of each of us, only this, to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with our God. The call to live simply and humbly in right relationship with others and with our loving God, holds a promise of life lived in a spirit of freedom and liberation. I'd like to share with you some thoughts from Richard Rohr when thinking of justice and acting justly. What does it mean to act justly? He suggests that when we think of justice, we ordinarily think of a balance. If the scales tip too much on the side of wrong, justice is needed to set things right. But God's justice does not make sense to human ideas of justice. Perhaps we define justice in terms of what we've done, what we've earned, what we've merited, our image of justice is often some form of retribution and then this can be projected onto God. When most people say we want justice, they normally mean that bad deeds should be punished or that they want vengeance. But Jesus says that's simply not the case with God. The issue is how much can I trust God? How much 
can I stand in the flow of God's infinite love? And how much can I let God love me in my worst moments? Maybe just to take a moment with those questions. How much can I trust God? How easily can I stand in the flow of God's infinite love without blocking God's love out or denying it? How much can I let God love me in my worst moments? What is God's justice? Well, it's certainly not our Western image of a blindfolded woman standing with a scale and weighing the different sides. God's justice is delivered simply by God being true to God's nature. And what is God's nature? Love. God is love. So God's justice is in fact total, steadfast love. Total, unconditional giving of love. Perhaps some of the most comforting words that Jesus shared are the prayer that we call the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. And I'd like to close our time of prayer today with this modern version of the Our Father, taken from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. And this version both honours and reflects Indigenous Maori culture. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is Heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created things. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For your reign in glory of the power that is love, is now and forever. Amen. So thank you again for gathering members of our Oblate family today. And may your day be blessed with the deep peace of Christ. And may we easily stand in the flow of God's infinite love. Amen. God bless everyone. I hope you have a good day.